Hey everyone, just a quick uh, video to answer some questions about the outputs uh, from ProPresenter and our Mac Pro, uh, particularly in regards to uh, over there, the screens uh, for the uh, computer output and the green screen for lower thirds. Um, and you wanna make sure that all of our outputs are registered in the right spots. So we have our HDMI cable, a little hard to see with that white label, but it's a black cable going to the back here, the only HDMI input. Uh, we have uh, um, uh, Thunderbolt to VGA cable, um, and then we have two different Thunderbolt uh, to um, DVI cables, I believe. One of these may be VGA, but um, they uh, run this uh, VGA cable runs to this monitor. These two DVI, uh, Thunderbolt to DVI cables run to our switcher right over there. Right there. Uh, and then this uh, HDMI cable runs to this black magic box in the back, uh, which splits um, one cable to run to this monitor, and then another cable uh, via SDI uh, to run to our projectors uh, to the big screens. Uh, so sometimes uh, you may have an issue where, uh, say for instance, the green screen isn't working. Could be a couple of different things. Um, uh, you have your little looks menu up here. You could have um, really any one of these, but it should turn that screen blank with any one of these. Uh, but typically all we really use right now is worship. Um, blank would have no lyrics. Uh, worship would allow the lyrics to be on that green screen. So you just have a blank green screen, green screen with lyrics. And then uh, this would have green screen with uh, scripture in the lower thirds. And this would have uh, the potential of listing me uh, message points in the lower thirds. Now, sometimes um, it is not over there. So what you can do uh, is check out screens up here. Make sure you're in the ProPresenter app. So if you're not, go ahead and click on the ProPresenter app, the orange button down here. Bring up ProPresenter, click on screens, uh, and we can look at configure screens. And we can see that we have um, a sanctuary screen, we have an online screen, and then we have a stage display screen right here. So you can identify the screens by um, clicking identify. And you can click um, on the screens and it will actually list out uh, the names. So here we have the black magic output. Um, over here, go here and see and if we look very closely, uh, we can see that this is our online display. And um, um, if we have the TV on downstairs, that should show us our stage screen. So if for some reason uh, this, let's say the green screen is still not working, there's another spot to check. Um, one is to make sure it's on here. If for some reason your displays are messing up uh, and none of these following solutions help, Quit everything and restart the computer or turn it off. Make sure your inputs are secured in the back. And then reboot the computer. Typically, that helps. Um, I actually just did that because I was fiddling around with these, making sure everything was secure. Uh, and then I actually lost my green screen over there. Uh, so I turned off the computer, made sure everything was in securely, and then I rebooted. And at first it was a little wonky. Uh, the Apple boot logo was showing up on this screen instead of this one. And then it took it a minute, but then it figured out, oh, this is supposed to be the login screen um, or display. And then it switched the login display to here. And then I was able to log in, in case you don't know. Uh, it's written here, in case this gets lost. Um, it's actually on this uh, startup procedure sheet as well, the password for the Mac Pro. Uh, that really uh, makes uh, Mac Pro super secure. <laughs> um, but uh, it's better to have the password for uh, everyone who's volunteering in this position. So we don't have to remember uh, the IT password <laughs> that uh, was made for this computer. Uh, so yeah, reboot everything, and then that's typically a solution to your problem. But another area to check is uh, screens, and then looks. We wanna edit looks. So you can see that right now the, the live display is our worship display. But we can also go to edit looks, and we just wanna make sure that uh, on this screen, while it shows us that the worship look is live, we just go through here and we just wanna make sure that everything is 
um, correct. So we go down here, ridge line, and we see that one of the ridge line um, as are selected. And we see that that blank slide is selected down here. Uh, same thing goes for here. We just go through, select worship, and we go through ridge line. And we make sure lyrics lower thirds are selected. And for that one, you also want to make sure that slide content is selected as well. Uh, message points and scriptures, you can go through the same. We haven't been using these much at all. But you can see that for the message points, text lower thirds is selected. And finally, uh, and of course, slide content is there. Same goes for scripture. Slide content is selected. And then for our um, theme, we, for this one, we go down to scripture lower thirds. So that's how we use the looks and we check to see if there are any issues uh, with our outputs. The last place we can check um, and the place that we can check if our outputs are just very wonky is to go down here to system preferences. Uh, this little gray icon right down here. Click on that to launch our system preferences. Then you'll want to navigate to the displays button right here. And that will open up our displays. And you'll see that we have um, several different displays. And the important thing is for this white bar right here, it can be moved around. You wanna keep this on this display right here. Um, specifically the, oopsies, the G226HQL. Uh, my guess is that is the model number for this Acer monitor. Um, and then uh, the rest of these, this is the black magic output uh, for everything that you see on this screen and the big screens. And then this, disp this display port, um, I believe is what is capturing our lower thirds. Uh, and then this uh, NS-L55X-10A, uh, I believe is um, what's being fed into the switcher. I believe, I could be wrong on that. Um, but the big thing to remember is this is where our four displays are, uh, and that is our four uh, outputs coming out of the back here. Uh, the three uh, white Thunderbolts up top here with their converters to either VGA or DVI, and then our fourth display output uh, is this HDMI cable, this black cable with the white label. Uh, so again, if you're having any big issues, um, restart the computer, restart ProPresenter, as silly as that sounds, but IT solution to everything, Turn off the computer, wait 30 seconds, double check your connections, boot it back up, and once you uh, get into your first screen, that should make everything go live and be A-OK. -okay. But if you have any questions, feel free to reach out, and I'll be sure to try my best to help.